the old, the old Man and the Sea, part 15. <clears throat> uh, people, um, just some some uh, previous uh, thoughts before we go to the to the reading. Uh, first of all, people, um, we are supposed to have a list in Quizlet for each part of the video uh, of the book. Sorry, for each video, uh, or it's like one Quizlet list for two, three parts. When I see that. Uh, the number of words would be uh, too uh, too small, and then you know if we have a Quizlet list with like ten words, the exercises are going to be extremely easy. You know they won't be exercises. You know, so that's why sometimes I have two, three uh, parts in one Quizlet. Um, uh, exercise mainly now because I guess as you guys have. Uh, been acquiring vocabulary or at least this is my prospects relating to you because I don't actually know the level of your vocabulary skills but I mean that uh, you know I won't explain some of the words we have studied before you know that means that as we proceed proceed in the book the tendency is for us to have less vocabulary per list so sometimes we're going to have one quizlet list list for like five uh, videos right and also i believe that uh, we can cover a bigger chunk of the book if i'm not uh, too digressive uh in one video okay but guys if uh, if there is a video there and any of the links are missing sometimes i promise to post uh, like a, i don't know a website or a picture or a quizlet a quizlet um, <clears throat> list please just comment on there uh and i'll try to fix the problem it's just because you know i've been recording so many videos there is this project here uh with the old man in the sea but i also have the dictionary project which i'm recording words uh, for uh, you know, a video dictionary, and then there's the etymology, vocabulary, I've already told you, but uh, there is uh, grammar in English, grammar in Portuguese, you know, there is also, um, I've been preparing some some reading of Dom Casmurro in Portuguese, and I hope soon I will I will uh, post it here in the channel. I'm just not posting the videos yet, even though I, I already have like 40 of them, because I want to make sure that I'll be able to cover all of that. I don't want you guys, for example, if you have been following this this um, reading here, I don't want you to have to wait like three, four, five, six weeks or, uh, I don't know, even running the risks risk of not uh, recording more videos. So I want to make sure I will be able to finish all the projects I have uh, taken up. Well. That's not the point. The point is, if uh, any of the things I promised uh, are missing, please uh, comment there. I'll try to, you know, post the links or whatever I have to do. Okay. Um, I feel I had something else to tell you, but uh, if I remember, I'll just uh, tell you. Oh yes, uh, one one more thing, and then go into this uh, theoretical. Uh, you know, part of our reading, thinking about uh, the act of reading, you know. Uh, these days I was thinking that maybe, you know, it would be too much work for you guys because I read something and then I stop and then I go back. And uh, I don't know if you've realized that, but my reading, my video is not enough. What do I mean by that? I interrupt myself too much, you know, and that means that I cannot even follow the pace of the reading you know and because i'm thinking about when well, a specific word i have to tell you sometimes you know i read uh with uh, let's say not the best intonation okay so and then i told on maybe i should make the video videos more practical or anything but guys i i know i've already told you before but it's extremely important to tell you the honest truth right you can't expect to read great literature. Mainly you, probably you are a Brazilian, right? Probably you don't speak uh, English your, as your first language. So there are two issues here. The first one, you're, you're reading great literature. 
and uh, it, that requires a lot of work that requires a lot of effort that requires you know a lot of time otherwise of, okay you can put on your list there I've read Machado de Assis and you can tell your friends you can post on Facebook and Instagram you know you are by the pool you know with Machado de Assis book and then you are you are reading that's great but if you're looking for that, I don't know, you can just pretend you are reading um, any of those books and take pictures and read the summary on the internet. So I guess if you are really interested in great literature, you can't save any effort, you know? Let me give you the... the to share my experience. Guys, I, I think this is the sixth or seventh time I'm reading Don Casmurro, you know? Uh, these last times, two times I'm reading because I have I read once again uh, for the preparations of the videos and then I, I read one more time in front of the cameras. And really, guys, uh, I still feel I have, uh, you know, a lot to, to pay attention to, a lot to learn. I know there is that uh, common, common, uh, how can I say commonplace remark right oh it's so deep that each time I read I, I go deeper and I will never you know uh, w explore all the, the parts of it yeah maybe that's true but I'm not even talking about that I'm talking about reading in a way that it's sexfatory right and what is it reading in a way that is sexfatory uh, you can't have dark spots in the book you know Maybe there's one sentence, the author used a word you can't even find on the internet, that's okay. But, you know, if you're reading a book, any kind of literature, and that there are lots of dark, obscure spots, you're not quite reading it. You can choose just to pre-read it, like, let's say, read all of it, but you'll have to go back to that one day. Uh, this is the kind of uh, suggestion I have to give you about The Old Man and the Sea, okay? Uh, just to finish what I started. Besides that, guys, besides the great challenge that it is uh, reading great literature, you have the language as well. And, um, you know, again, you can have two approaches, right? You can just get my explanation on the words and you go on with the reading. Or you can decide that you want to have those words in your vocabulary and I'm sorry to say maybe you're a genius but if you are not it will take you a lot of work all right it would it will take you watching the videos and uh, uh, doing the exercises quizlet doing vocabulary.com taking a look at you know some images in Google image um, you know, all of that. Again, guys, I'm not saying that you have just one strategy to choose, okay? I'm, I'm not saying that. But I'm saying that uh, you will have to go through all those phases eventually, all right? So what would I do, you know? I would follow along with the, the video, you know, uh, if I had the time, I would take a look at the exercises before, but if I didn't, okay, I would follow along uh, with the video. Then I would do a little bit of vocabulary.com, and then I would do a little bit of uh, uh, Quizlet. I would read the entire scope of that specific video, and then I would do a little bit uh, more of uh, vocabulary.com and a little bit further Quizlet, you know? And then after two days, I would read the entire thing again, you know? And I'm sorry to tell you guys, but even after finishing all that process, you know, after, let's imagine we have finished all the videos, you know, and after two or three months, I would get the entire book again and I would read it by myself from cover to cover, okay? You can choose other approaches, right? But that's my suggestion for you, if you want to get to know great literature. Um, don't save yourself the work, because if you go down that path again, so, so just go down that path, you know, and uh, read uh, 35 uh, summaries of great books, 
you know, in one day, and you can pretend you have read, um, you know, many of them. And then, of course, you, you maybe you're thinking, oh, you're being too extremist, because I'm reading The Old Man in the Sea, and I read Machado de Sees, even though I some parts are a little bit obscure. Yeah, but uh, I've already used that argument. But don't you think you should read what the author intended to tell you, you know? We can't forget that uh, reading and literature is communication, okay? Uh, I'm not talking about, uh, you know, uh, a kind of conception nowadays that, you know, the literature is in you. That's the subject for another video. But if Machado de Assis intended to use those words and you are not understanding those words, you know, if uh, Hemingway intended to show you, you know, like a picture, you know, and you can't see the picture, you know, you just understand the words and you can't see the picture, you are not communicating with uh, him when you are Machado de Assis. So think about it. Think about it. Guys, uh, I've, I've went through a period in my life where I wanted to read everything, you know, because I wanted to acquire a lot of culture. And uh, it took me some time to realize that I was not looking for culture. I was looking for status. I wanted to be, you know, in, in the middle of my friends and I, I wanted to tell them that I was reading you know, Dostoevsky, Proust, and things like, like, like that. Um, and my honest opinion about a person that acts like this is that person doesn't deserve to read Dostoevsky, that person doesn't deserve to read Proust or Proust, the way you want to pronounce it. And it's interesting because they end up not reading those guys, you know? They end up just, uh, you know, wanting to go one page after the other, and in the end they just have the appearance of the reading to tell other people. Okay, I've gone too far. Maybe I should start another video, but I wouldn't know how to name the video in our list, so... Uh, let's go to our reading. Probably my camera will cut this video in the middle, but that's okay. I'll just uh, name uh, part one and part two. <clears throat> okay, so part 15. He shipped his oars and brought a small line from under the bow. It had a wire leader and a medium-sized hook, and he baited it with one of the sardines. He let it go over the side and then made it fast to a ring boat in the stern. Okay, lots of things here, right? Uh, sh <clears throat> Sorry. Remember, get, uh, ship here is being used as a verb, okay? If you ship something, you put it on board, okay? So, when he shipped his, uh, his oars, he put the oars on board, you know? Remember, there are those kinds of supports. Uh, he can put his oars there, right? And of course, you remember, oar is the thing we use to row the boat, okay? You remember, of course, that the bow is uh, the front of the boat. I will, in later videos, I will stop reviewing those words so much. So take advantage of my explanation now, okay? Uh, bow, skiff, oar right those things hook of course bait line uh, those things you have to remember it had a wire leader okay so imagine this is the hook okay this is the hook here and uh, think about it if i have the hook here and right here i have the line maybe if you are fishing for a swordfish you know the the swordfish may start hitting the line and, and break it okay so a nice idea is to have the line just here and here we can have a litter you know that connects the line the actual line to the hook why because for example in this case this litter is made of wire so it's very strong so every um, interaction the fish has with this uh, will be okay because this is extremely extremely strong so you have the hook the wire litter and then the line all right Made fast is extremely inter interesting. I'll release um, uh, a channel, a video in the channel about uh, fast because fast is, of course, quick, but fast is fixed. 
okay? Um, so when you make something fast, you make, uh, you make something uh, fixed, okay? Something that came to my mind now. Uh, fasten your seat belt. Why, why do you fasten? That is fast in, right? Fasten. So fasten your seat belt. Because you make your seat belt, your seat belt fast. It's not like, whoa, my seat belt is running. No, you make it fixed, okay? Just uh, I opened the, the free dictionary and uh, let me see if I can give you uh, nice examples. Uh, for example, here, fast uh, can be as an adjective as I told you. The clock is fast, right? Uh, but then we have, for example, fast colors. You know, fast colors are colors that uh, don't fade very easily when you wash your clothes. You can talk about a fast grip. You know, it's when I hold something and I don't let that thing go. Uh, when I when I greet a person, you know, I can say that the person has a fast grip, right? And this expression that I really li I really like when you are fast sleep. You know, uh, in a fast sleep, it means that uh, you are sleeping very heavily. Okay. Uh, keep in mind, guys. Sometimes you have the screw here, you know, the one... Ow! Oh, I can be so didactic here. Okay, this is a screw. I don't know if it's... I hate the focus on this camera. Okay, but then you have something you can put here. You know, I don't have it, sorry. Uh, that's a boat, okay? A ring bolt is like a screw like this, but on the top you have a little uh, loop here, right? Uh, think about it. That's very, very handy if you're going to put your line through here and you have those things by the side of the boat. Okay, I think my camera is going to cut me here, but I'll just read this small part and go back again uh, in the next video. His, sh no, sorry. He shipped his oars and brought a small line from under the bow. It had a wire leader and a medium-sized hook and he baited it, it with one of the sardines. He let it go over the side and uh, then made it fast to a ring boat in the stern.